How's it going guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look at AVG's secure browser. Now I'm kind of scared to even install this thing on my computer because AVG has had a bad rep about taking over all kinds of stuff on your computer. But if you want to try, try it out, it's got a, it's a free download. Go to avg.com. Hover over PC and it's down here, AVG Secure Browser. All right, and this is what it looks like here once you install it. It's going to ask you in the beginning here if you want to do express settings or custom settings. Basically, uh, set AVG Secure Browser as default browser, which I don't want to do that because I don't even, I haven't been using it for a long time. Create shortcuts on desktop, that's fine. Launch AVG automatically a logon? No. No, okay. Only create shortcuts. You can go ahead and do express settings, but this is what's going to happen. It's going to be it's going to be a default browser. You make shortcuts on your desktop, and it's going to open up automatically when you turn on your computer. So that's too much. I like to just create the shortcuts, and that's it. All right, we're going to hit continue. This might take a while. It's just creating those shortcuts. All right, so here we are. This is the browser right here. It looks a lot like Chrome, to tell you the truth, and it feels a lot like Chrome. Let's go ahead and just test it out real quick. Let's go to Amazon. Here's Amazon. All right, it looks like it's working. It looks just like Chrome, guys. Up here and everything, it looks just like Chrome. Let's go ahead and look at the settings here. Yeah, even the uh, menu down here looks just like Chrome. Let's go to Settings. Yep, look at this. It looks a lot like Chrome. It's got autofill, settings, if you want to do for passwords and stuff like that. It looks just like Chrome. Security and Privacy Center. Ah, oh, check it out. So if you go under settings, let me show you guys how to get there. On the upper right hand corner, you see these three dots. Click there. Go to settings. And then in settings, click here where it says Security and Privacy Center. It's going to take you here. So here, then you can... Uh, um, change everything that you need to do of course it's going to make you want to make a default browser but i'm not doing that right now you guys can do that if you like it it's going to prompt you here to install for, uh, avg antivirus the free one and i recommend you guys do avg free is uh, one that i use all the time uh secure vpn i have that installed that changes your location i am actually in new mexico but it's look it's changed my location to uh, new mexico you can check out that video i made an avg secure vpn review and tutorial video check it out um it's got anti-fingerprint. It's got a lot of features you can use here. So this is what it's giving you. Webcam guard, extension guard, block and trusted extensions, stuff like that. Privacy cleaner. Um, so it's got a lot of cool features on here. So this browser looks like it might be pretty cool, actually. Will I use it? Probably not, because I'd rather just use Chrome straight out. Because you don't know what the heck. Because if you go to search for something, I bet you it's using the... Let's see if it's using the um, the AVG or Google. Let's just look. It's 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 almost October, so I'm just gonna look for Halloween costumes. Let's see. Yep, it goes to Bing, so it's not even using Google. You could change that under set settings for it to use Google, but but it looks like it's set up for Bing, which is is which is not a bad thing. But I prefer to use Google. It's not a bad browser. I like it. This is what you're getting with the browser right here. All those, all these settings right here. So I like it. I like how it has webcam guard and all that stuff. Password manager. So I'm going to give it a good review. I like it. If you guys um, want to make sure that you guys are protected, I recommend you guys get this program and uh, install this. Uh, well, I got the free trial of AV, AV, AVG Secure VPN. But if you use AVG Secure VPN and this browser here, I think you guys will be good. And if you guys get the free download, I do have a video also for the uh, AVG antivirus review and tutorial. If you guys want to watch that video, cool. So I'm gonna give it a good review. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars because nobody's perfect. <laughs> Although I am very impressed, I really like it. If it had built-in VPN with it. Maybe one day they'll make one like that with built-in VPN. Then I would give it five stars. But I'm going to give it four, four out of five. That's still a pretty good um, review. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon in my next video.